I'm going to show you the easiest way to unclog a bell tub drain. It's real simple. And the last thing you want to do is take these two screws off and use a snake. You just need, if you have to, take these off. But like I said, it's the last thing you need to do. Just get a screwdriver. And you can get these snakes here at Home Depot, Lowe's, or whatever. It's good to have one around the house. But this is the last thing you want to do. The first thing you want to do is just get you some pliers and go down here to the bottom. And you want to make sure that's dropped down to where it won't spin. And you take your pliers and you turn it counterclockwise. And it may be hard the first turn, especially if you haven't taken this off, but just keep turning. It'll come along. And if you turn it about five or six times, it'll loosen itself up. Then just take the rest of it off with your hand. It'll loosen up. See, my eyes is loose now. I can use my hand and just screw it right off counterclockwise. And these get clogged up because, especially if you got girls, a lot of hair and stuff get clogged down there. Or you, you never know what might be in there. So you can see right here, it's a piece of plastic in this one which was causing it to drain really slow. And what you want to do is get some needle nose pliers and get the rest of the hair and everything out from around there. Like I said, if you got some girls and that hair gets caught up in that drain. So once you get it up, I'm just show you how this thing operates right here. It just go up and down. When it's down like that or up, you can spin it, but when it goes down, it locks itself. So that's how you screw it in and out. So once you get everything cleaned out, you just put it back in place and make sure that's all the way down and you turn it clockwise. As you can see it's locked in there now, but I'm going to just go ahead and tighten it as much as I can with my hand and then I'm going to get my pliers and finish it up. You don't want to over tighten this either. You don't want to break nothing. So just get your pliers and as soon as it stops turning, just put a little bit more force on it right there that's it as you can see I'm gonna test it that's all the force I'm gonna put on it and that's it so once you get the hair and stuff cleaned out run it and if it's still drained or it's still draining slow you can use the little snake like I said in the beginning but that's the last thing you want to do and you see I moved that piece of plastic and some hair before this thing wouldn't even drain hardly now you can see it drains in, in a few seconds. So that's really all you have to do. Just uh, take this plunger out right here and then clean the hair or whatever plastic, whatever you have in there. And that's it. That's the simplest way. Thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel.